Did you know you can run Android apps on top of Windows 11? Stay tuned and find out the details. That's right, people, you can run an Android app on top of a Windows 11 operating system. Uh, this comes news from the latest Windows 11 build 22H2 that launched in October. Um, October 18th, I think it was the date. Um, it is the date that this new product called Windows uh, subsystem for Android is now available in the preview version. But you can download it today and install it, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works and run an Android app right on top of my Windows 11 system. So let's jump into it. It currently is only available for the Amazon App Store. So you, we're not talking about Android apps that are on the Google Play Store, but the ones in the Amazon App Store are available to run on top of Windows through this subsystem for Android. And um, it is only uh, for Windows 11 at this time. So it has to be Windows 11, has to be uh, Build 22H2 that just came out. So you have to go into your Windows 11 system, run Windows Update, and make sure you install all the latest updates to get it up to 22H2 and all the latest um, updates installed. So you're the very you know, current build. It also requires that your system have eight gigs of RAM and an SSD drive. It needs some performance, if you will, to run this um, ability. It also runs it in a a virtual machine so your windows you have to go in and enable the virtualization which also means your computer main board system has to support virtualization you have to go in the bios and enable that um, there are some links on the web on how to walk right through this if you search for windows subsystem for android or amazon app store or windows 11. actually i'll show you their main page which takes you right through the steps and they're actually really really simple as long as your system can meet the criteria. What you do once you have your system updated and the virtualization enabled is you go to the Microsoft Store and within the store you search on Amazon App Store and install the Amazon App Store. Um, this is a screenshot on the right showing you what it looks like when it's installing the subsystem for Android, which is part of that Amazon App Store app. That, like I said, it installs the uh, subsystem. So then you launch the Amazon App Store, and once you've launched it, um, you can then select an Android app and install it, at which point it'll give you an icon and you can run that app. And uh, I'll show you that. Um, there are also options for developers to sideload Android apps rather than going through the Amazon App Store. There'll, there'll be some links. Um, I'll put some links in the video to take you to more details on that. Um, but let's take a look at the let's go to my actual desktop now and show you the website that you should go to start here amazon app store on windows 11 if you search for that you will find this page you can see the link i know it's very small in my screen here um, but this gives you all the details on this program that is now available amazon app store on windows 11 and there is a link here in this one that takes you to a blog that ex that is dated October 18, 2022, and it gives you a ton of other details, um, including some details down in the FAQs about, this one here was the good one, how do Android apps run on Windows 11, and it talks about the subsystem for Android called WSA, Windows Subsystem for Android. There's another one called Windows Subsystem for Linux, WSL, um, which they mention as well. So. Once that is installed, let me show you in the Microsoft Store, if you come search for Amazon App Store, you will see it right there, at which point you would then click, uh, click install. I already have it installed on my system. So from there, you would hit open and you can launch the App Store. Um, let me just do that. I'll launch the App Store so you can see it in launch. And then it will show you all of the current Android apps that are available for you to try out. Here they are. Let's see if I can make this bigger now. So all of these uh, Android apps 
um, are available. iHeartRadio, there's a few other ones in there, lots of different games and stuff. Um, and there's some menus on the side that you can use. But these will um, launch, and I believe um, I actually installed a, uh, a backgammon game, which, um, let me see if I search on it. Yeah, I installed this one here, so I'll hit open, and you'll see there it is. Um, this is an Android version of Backgammon that I'm playing on top of my Windows 11 system. So with that, um, it is fantastic news. It shows that um, the door has been opened a little bit to allowing some Android apps to run on top of a Windows OS. I know my channel is focused on Windows IoT. There is zero news on the IoT side about this feature um, that I can speak about at this point. But we're definitely going down a road where this may be available on the IoT space. Um, otherwise, at this point, Windows 11, build 22H2, get it from the Microsoft Store, the Amazon App Store, install it, off you go. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Contact us here at Arrow. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. Thank you so much.